When you have dry eye, getting to the bottom of the cause of your symptoms and the state of your dry eye is very important. If you're seeing a dry eye specialist, it's very likely they'll perform Inflamadry as a diagnostic test to assess the level of inflammation on your ocular surface. It's a quick and easy in-office test that takes a sample of your tears to assess MMP9 inflammation. And today, we'll discuss the test and what you can expect if you're getting it done. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. You've made it to Eye School with me, Dr. D. In today's lesson, we're going over Inflamadry, one of the diagnostic tests for dry eye syndrome your dry eye specialist might perform. This channel is all about eye education and community, and I would love nothing more than for you to comment down below, share your experiences with your dry eye um, workup with Inflamadry, and we can share our experiences together. So Inflamadry is a rapid in-office lab test that's able to detect elevated levels of MMP9, an inflammatory marker that is consistently elevated in the tears of patients with dry eye disease. This is in comparison to the other types of tests we perform on your tears in the clinic. Shermer is one example where we measure tear volume. However, Inflamadry is distinctive because we are getting more information about the inflammatory content of the tears. Dry eye disease is a condition in which a person either does not produce enough tears or has tears of poor quality that evaporate too quickly. Tears are supposed to bathe the surface of the eye and are necessary for maintaining the health of the front surface of the eye and for providing clear vision. When the surface of the eye is exposed to environmental stress or is damaged, it may activate an inflammatory response that can result in the common symptoms of dry eye disease. And over time, dry eye disease may progress into a chronic condition and can potentially damage the surface of the eye, increase the risk of infection, and even impair vision. Dry eye disease is an extremely common condition that affects nearly 30 million adults in the United States. I have a graphic here I'll throw on screen to show you the inflammation that occurs at the ocular surface in dry eye disease. You can see in the middle, the MMP release um, is located there, and that's exactly what this test is looking for. Testing for inflammation is very, very useful clinically. Although this lab test does not give us a numerical readout, it is possible for your doctor to judge the strength of the positive and monitor your inflammation that way. So for instance, in clinic, my lab readouts of this test are negative, weak positive, or positive, or strong positive. So I'm always grading it the same. That way I can monitor my patients for improvement in their Inflamadry test. When you have Inflamadry performed, first we use a drop of Preparacaine to numb the eye. Then the technician or doctor will use the test kit to wet the end of the sample collector. The tear sample is immediately placed onto the reader cartridge and you have your Inflamadry result within about 10 minutes. You will be numb for about 20 to 30 minutes after the procedure, so just make sure not to rub your eyes too hard. Performing Inflamadry also requires your doctor's office to have what is called a CLIA waiver, which is the certification that allows a facility to legally examine a person through waived tests to assess health, diagnose, and determine treatment. Inflamadry is billable to insurance, and depending on your coverage, you may not incur additional costs to you to have it done. So I want you to let me know down below if you've had Inflamadry done, what were your results, how was the test for you? That is gonna be it for today's lesson. Thanks for attending iSchool today. I will see you next time.